Hey guys, it is week 19 post-op. Today, I wanna to talk about breathing. So let's get started. So before my surgery, I have a class three underbite. And one of the things I didn't really notice is how I was breathing. So I was actually breathing through my mouth. You know, every time I'm walking around, I had my mouth open and Subconsciously, I didn't even know I was doing that, but it's just how I live life. I didn't realize, and maybe you guys experience the same thing. It wasn't until I woke up from surgery that I noticed how incredible breathing was. And I remember the air just going through my nose so crisp and clean. I didn't expect that. Like, wow, I couldn't believe it. So does this surgery improve breathing? From my experience, this surgery does improve your breathing. My lower jaw was moved a little bit to the right and my upper jaw was brought forward. And because of that, it opened up the airway through my nose. And that's why I'm able to breathe so much better. My nose is a little crooked. It was a little slanted to the side, but a good surgeon will be able to do something to make it more symmetrical. So this is something that you might want to bring over a surgeon. Essentially, my surgeon gave me a free nose job. Because my jaw was brought a little forward, my nose did get a little wider and a little bit more upturned. So this is what I did before my surgery. I actually trimmed my nose hair because I know that I'm going to be very congested after the surgery, especially during recovery. I'm not going to be able to blow my nose. So I literally trimmed my nose hair. So during the first few weeks of recovery, with you not being able to blow your nose, it's a real struggle. I know I went through that personally and it was tough for me. What really helped me was taking showers. The showers actually help clear some of the sinuses. Another thing is to use a nasal decongestant. This is so helpful. Now clear the things that are blocking your nose and allow you to breathe a lot better. The surgeon doesn't recommend you blowing your nose, especially the first few weeks of recovery, because you know, it, since bone's been cut and all that, blowing your nose might cause damage in that area, especially when it's still recovering. So please avoid blowing your nose during the first few weeks of recovery. Talk to your surgeon, ask him or her when you're allowed to blow your nose after surgery. That's it for now. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.